A culture has developed that idolizes mental illness and encourages self-harm, self-medication, and even at times ending it all and becoming immortalized as a romantically tragic soul. The issue with publicizing depression on social media is that from an outsider's perspective, the patient, the one who is actually struggling, is sort of pointed out to be someone who is special or different. And I feel like everyone wants to be special or different. struggling with their emotions are able to find some sort of comfort in the fact that other people are struggling with the same things. It's basically a way for them to not feel as lonely. And social media could actually provide you contact that you otherwise could not acquire. I definitely think that there could be some people out there that look at you know other people and say well maybe maybe I'm depressed maybe I can say it too just to feel like um, I'm in with the crowd of people. It's a communal sense of taking care of someone's problems rather than someone taking care of that themselves. This is a special case because it's a disease and that shouldn't be something that people make so sort of casual. People who post on social media or advertise it aren't even really suffering from it. They just think they are. Because some people that actually like maybe do need medical help or whatever could be disregarded as just seeking attention. The, the people that do it just for the attention, it's bastardizing the disease. It's disgusting. More and more teens will be like, oh wow, I fell down this day or something. Maybe I'm suffering from depression. There may be an over uh, usage of the diagnosis, which would lead to over medication. And the doctor is being paid to prescribe you something, so that's exactly what he's going to do. I believe the most important aspect is to make the correct diagnosis. Sometimes I think there are situations when adolescents are prescribed medications, whether it be for depression, tension deficit disorder, other psychologic issues, when maybe the diagnosis is not correct. It's actually incredibly easy for teens to get depression medication. I was prescribed drugs when I was in high school and I know a lot of people who were also prescribed drugs and the majority of them kind of did better off once they got off the med medications. Another really hard thing about this disease is that we are completely incapable of knowing the extent to which other people feel things. Just depression itself has just a whole lot of gray area. There is no right or wrong like oh you have it or oh, you don't have it like there's people can have a little bit of it can have a lot of it it can be so bad that they can't get up from bed it's like you wonder if you'd never seen a picture of someone cutting or if you never heard about it would you would you result to cutting mm -hmm.